A man charged in a deadly hit and run crash that killed a moped rider in Grand Rapids appeared in court today as the victim's family sat nearby. Norman Abney waived his, waived his hearing on two charges stemming from that June 14th crash, which sends his case to Kent County Circuit Court. 13 on your sides, Emma Nicholas spoke with the victim's family about what they hope to see happen. She joins us now. Emma. Kevin McAlpin was a father of two, a skilled tattoo artist, and had aspirations of opening his own business. His family says while they forgive the man responsible for his death, they also want justice. We call him little Kevin Bunchy. His father remembers him as a fighter. Always a strong little guy, so we thought maybe he was going to wake up and start hollering and screaming or kicking or, you know, something like that, because that's the way he always were, you know. Kevin fought for his life for nearly 24 hours. But this time he didn't turn around, you know. He just stayed laying there the whole time. At 11 p.m. the night before, Kevin was hit while riding his moped down Eastern Avenue. The driver, identified as 58-year-old Norman Abney, hit the moped and kept going. I felt like you know, he treated my nephew as if he wasn't human, just leaving him there, you know, and not stopping to assist him. Abney turned himself in the morning after the crash, which came as a relief to Kevin's family. It was an accident, and he has turned himself in, but he does need to pay for his recklessness of leaving alive. Abney now faces two charges, including failing to stop at the scene of an accident resulting in serious impairment or death. If convicted, he faces up to 15 years in prison. I forgive him, and I would just like justice to be done, you know. Abney has a lengthy driving record, including a conviction for driving under the influence, as well as driving with a suspended license. His license was valid, however, at the time of the crash. Juliet.